Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Today we are going to be looking at some breakup story times on TikTok. So let's go. So since y'all wanted a story time as to why my boyfriend, uh, my ex, my ex, sorry, and I broke up, I am just going to do a little bit of a story time explaining why my ex and I broke up. Basically, it was about to be our third year anniversary. We were coming close to it and we were already having problems, okay? Because the thing with this man was that I literally spent like a whole month and a half going to sleep over at his house because he wanted me to go sleep over. I wanted to go to sleep over. Like everybody wanted me to be sleeping over there, right? I guess it was just convenient for everything for me to be sleeping over there. You know, I would still come to my house every single day and spend yep. the day here and stuff. But when it was nighttime, I would go and sleep with him because the way I saw it was, you know, like this is if we're trying to make our relationship strive, we're going to do everything that we need to do to like make it work. Right. Yeah. Right. The problems really started happening when I like tell him like, hey, like, I think it's time that you come to sleep over at my house for a while, you know, like. Let's like switch it up so I'm not always staying at your house to sleep. He would spend like two nights here and his mom would already be like, oh, like I miss you. Like you need to come home. Like you need to come sleep over. Like you don't sleep here. Like it would just be this big thing. And it's like, I totally understand you. Like maybe you miss your son. He was the only child. But mm -hmm. like, can you understand that now he's in a relationship and like he gets to be with his girlfriend? Like... You know, it's not like I have him here the whole day. Like, he goes and spends the day over there, too. Like, I don't expect him to be with me the whole day. It's just to sleep. Like, who is he sleeping with? Is he sleeping with you or is he sleeping with me? Because I'm a little f***ing confused. Like, I would, like, tell him, like, hey, like, you need to have a talk with your mother and, like, explain to her so she, like, respects what you're doing and it's not just like because then she would call him and he'd be like oh yes mom like it's okay like i'm gonna go sleep over there tomorrow mind you he's like 22 23 so oh. it would just it was just annoying because you're such an old man i'm 19 like i'm making it all work for you my problem my parents got no problem with it they're okay with what i'm doing and then i'm sitting here dealing with your parents because like i don't know you know and i don't mean to come for the parents or nothing because i don't know how i'm gonna be when i have kids or nothing like i don't mean to do that sure. but it's like bro like have some respect i think that the part that was most annoying was that he would literally tell her like hey like i'm i'm gonna go sleep over there mom like just relax like it's okay and he would like promise that shit. and it's like why are you even doing that when you know you're not gonna want to sleep over there like you're gonna want to sleep with me like what are you doing like why do you even do that? Why don't you just have a serious talk with your mom and like explain to her to just relax? Anyways, go to part two. I'm gonna find us part two. Yeah, hello. Uh, come up. Come up. Baby. Why my ex and I broke up. If you haven't watched part one, go I found watch it because then it's not going to make no sense. It got to the hard. point where this man would literally spend a whole f***ing hour or two outside in his car just talking to his parents about this book. Like, that was so annoying. Like, there was one night where I come outside and he's literally not in his car. Like, I'm like, where the f*** is this motherfucker at, bro? I call him and he's like super frustrated because you know the, the, what's happening with his parents and it was just this big thing like bro why are y'all putting this much stress oh, in our fucking relationship on, what i really didn't like is that i feel like up. he didn't have a voice of come his up. own in the like he would just go with whatever his parents were telling him and that was really annoying because it was like he was telling me one thing but then if his parents brought up some other then that would like change the whole thing around you know so that was really frustrating and that whole time since it's about to be our third year anniversary he's planning this whole trip to colorado because we've already been there before but we didn't get to Good see job. everything that we wanted to see so we kind of wanted to go back and stuff but it was getting to the point where i literally told him like listen like we're gonna go on this trip but like we're breaking up like we're breaking up after this trip i really don't give a fuck. like yes i'm going because you've already paid for everything and everything is paid for but like we're breaking up after this because i can't deal with it <laughs> no more i do truly feel that he felt as if that trip was gonna fix the whole relationship but what he wasn't realizing that what he wasn't realizing is that what he needed to do was talk to his parents and explain to him what like have a whole conversation with them like a serious conversation like sit down with them 
and that would have fixed the relationship because the problems were coming because of that they were not like oh we're gonna go on this trip and the problems are gonna be gone like no you still have the same parents you just need to talk to them so then i think it was like a couple days after it was literally it was the day that the night before we were going on that trip which was at three in the morning that trip was supposed to be at three in the morning on that day whatever the day before his dad calls my dad and he's like listen like you need to speak to your uh, daughter and like tell her that they cannot go on this trip like they're not going on this trip it's his big thing and basically the dad just didn't want it to come from him like he wanted me to be the one to be like hey babe like we can't go on this trip what the f Let's go to part three why my ex and i broke up if you haven't watched part one go and watch it because then it's not gonna make no why my ex and I broke up. So basically, once my dad tells me this kind of shit, I'm just like, what the f**k, right? But like, I respect it, bro, whatever. Like, if your parents don't want us to go, whatever. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and argue about this shit. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, it's not that deep, whatever. So I, I call him and I'm like, hey, like, we can't go on this trip. Wow. He's like, why can't we go on this trip? How the f am I supposed to explain to him without telling him that his dad called my dad Tell him. and like basically Tell him. literally told me like is forcing me to like say this? I don't know why the lighting is looking like that, y'all. Looks good. I don't know what's going on, but basically, <laughs> I tell him that, and then I'm like, listen, like my parents just said that we can't go. I just told him that because I didn't want to make it seem like it was his, his parents because, you know, if his dad said not to say it, then I'm going to respect that. But at this point, this mother literally flips out on me. Like, he is flipping out. Like, he's cursing. He's getting disrespectful. Like, he's getting disrespectful towards my parents. Wow. Like, he's talking a whole lot of that he should not be talking about because, honey, this is happening because of your parents. I'm just, I'm trying to be nice. But since you want to get disrespectful i'm gonna just tell you and be like hey your dad spoke to my dad and he's making all this happen okay like i'm just trying to be respectful and go with whatever the your dad said because i don't know why he's doing this i don't know if your dad like talked to you and you flipped out on him too i don't know what the is going on so i tell him that and he's just like not believing me he did not believe me he doesn't believe that his dad called my dad wow. and it's like bro i have the call like i can see the call right here that the call was incoming from your dad okay so then like this is the part that gets me so heated because it's like bro like your dad literally called my dad you know like this is not some bullshit. like this is real so whatever where the is my highlight y'all um oh my god okay whatever he actually like he tells me he's like listen like whatever okay like i'm gonna go by myself like feel like it was safe for him to be out in the world so i just text his dad and he's like i tell him like hey listen like i spoke to your son and i told him everything but like he's saying that he's gonna go on this thing alone and all he says is okay thank you yeah that's what they wanted if you want a part four you're gonna have to let me know because i feel like the topic is getting boring and long so just just let me know if you actually want a part four why my ex and I broke up. So basically, we might as well finish it and find that part four, eh? People are saying parents involved in your adult relationships already over. Yeah, people would have just said straight up it was your dad. It was your dad. This seems like all sketchy, right? Like it seems all weird. Okay, let's see if we got a part four. Just feel like if I don't do a part four, you guys would literally come and fucking haunt me at night. So part four, once I tell him that or whatever, once I tell his dad everything that's going on and he just says, okay, thank you, which was crazy to me. Uh, his, his son calls me, my ex, he calls me and he's like screaming at me, going off, going crazy, like going nuts. Like, why the would you tell my dad like ah oh, you ruined everything like i was just gonna go by myself what? like why the f this this bro like doing all this like calling everybody in my family up like doing all this bro like going off and i'm just like bro whatever f you i really don't have time for this like if you're gonna act like this i literally don't want to be with you right so in the middle of all that 
I block him because I'm getting really tired of everything that's going on. So I just block him and all of a sudden his dad calls me and he's like, hey, like, can you call him and like tell him to come home? Like, I don't know what's going on with him. He's not picking up the phone. And I'm sitting there like, bro, this is all your fault. Like you could have just had a conversation with your son and none of this would be happening. So the fact that I'm sitting here in the middle of all this is just it's just so stupid and i just tell him like you know that you made this happen and this and this and that and basically my dad was never supposed to tell me that he was the one that told me so he's sitting there like i i didn't do that like uh, uh, i didn't what are you talking about like i didn't call bruh who am i dealing with a adult or a kid like what is going on right now bro like it was just so frustrating y'all you don't understand at that point this mother literally starts like emailing me and like telling me like i'm gonna go to your house and i'm gonna ask for the money back i want my money back like you're not just gonna do this to me i want all my money back from that trip he's doing all this and i'm like sure like if you want to pull up to my house go ahead like my dad will be waiting for you outside you can have a talk with him see how see how funny that can be of course you know days passed by he never came or nothing and he started to regret everything he did and said and all that and you know i received a lot of emails of course a lot of emails to this day i still receive emails emails and no we're not going back young lady we are not going back but let me just put you on to these lashes though because oh my god okay. i just found them at target the other Whoa. day i was disappointed because i didn't have the ones that i they usually i usually buy from them but i was glad that i found these they're really good honestly like look at how much volume are on my mother lashes right now to be it's supposed to be how much volume is on my lashes before somebody says about something about that and before you say something about my bow let me just tell you that this bow does not have no wires this bow is supposed to be cute like that okay thank you I just feel like it's it, do it is cute like that wow okay can you believe that it's just some people are really really controlled by their parents and really influenced by them. Like, I didn't trust him at all. I almost would think maybe he put his dad up to it. Like, maybe he told his dad, can you please tell her not to come on the trip with us? You know, it seems like really weird. And then for him to be emailing you, like, what? I don't think a man has ever emailed me before. <laughs> I've never received an email from a man. So, I don't know, I kind of think you maybe should have gone on the trip though and just did your own thing instead of like letting them control your life that way but it was probably for the best that you you know separated yourself from these people yeah it's pretty bad people in the comments are saying like seems like his family had a communication problem all he had to do was tell his parents and he couldn't do that you know and it's not like he's a teenager he's like a 23 year old man so it's a little bit different. But anyways, that was a good little story time. So why don't we just end it there for today? I really appreciate you being here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.